Yeah, not necessarily. You can off you can hit it off centered if you have actually proper wrist position. If my wrist is broken like this and I hit it off center, I'm gonna be toast. But if my wrist is is in a firm position and I hit it slightly off center, there's gonna be less give to this paddle. All right, let's do a couple here. So the first thing that I see for you is actually you have what I kind of call like a bit of a weak wrist position. Mm -hmm. Take a look at, at where my wrist is. I want you to push against my paddle here. So I want to show you how a strong way to hold the paddle. So if you push against my paddle here, uh, push against, yeah, right over here, okay? Yeah. And now see how, see how my grip pressure is. Pull out the paddle. Okay, now I'm gonna put my wrist into a different position. Here, now push against the paddle. And pull. Was my grip pressure the same? Yeah. Grip pressure is the same. Which was more difficult to push against? The second. The second one, yeah. right? My wrist is in a much stronger position when it is up or even versus down. What happens when your wrist is down is when you hit this ball slightly off center. It's very it, pressure, right? You're yeah, it's spinning in the hand a little bit. Like it's, but when we have a stronger wrist position, those little bit of miss hits don't have the same impact on our paddle. So what I want you to focus on when we go back to to dinking is I noticed that your paddle head on low balls would start to drop down. A little bit and, and that actually that, causes us to to be able to use our wrist a little bit more when we're in this stand when we're in this sort of somewhat locked position it's a more difficult spot to use our wrist our body doesn't want to use our wrist from here we want to kind of get out of that position from here we're okay staying in a locked wrist position I want you to think about having your paddle just pointed upwards right the top of the paddle is pointed not all the way up, right? But simply not down. It's pointed into the sky somewhere. And we're gonna... Couple here, okay? Think about pointing the top of the paddle upwards rather than downwards. That one drops down on you a little bit. Nice. 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 We're making it tougher on you. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Come on. How did it feel when you were hitting the ball compared to, to normal? It felt more consistent in how it came off the paddle and like it kind of by this being the strong stronger upward slightly angled spot like I had more ability to tr focus on just pace rather than pressure and I don't know it just felt like this had more consistency and like stability it was less likely to kind of angle on me or my wrist was le less likely to want to get involved mm -hmm by keeping that strong wrist. Solid, yeah. It's a feel thing. I think you, you diffuse a lot of those mishits when you do just have a stronger wrist position. From here, you're also less likely to mess around with it. There, also, there are a million. You can see, rather than think about muscle pressure, right? I could tell, I could see this go down, right? Like, mm -hmm. and I can see it when it's right. It's in my line of sight. And when I see it do that, I know I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.